So you are now invested in Blender and you have decided that you want to master rigging and animation using this powerful program. And if that's the case, then you are going to want to learn about drivers and custom properties. This is one of those things that I think makes absolutely no sense unless you see it in action. So I'm just going to show you. All right, let's do this. If you followed my video rigging in five minutes, you'll remember that we had to add location and IK constraints to get our rig working. Every constraint has an influence bar that goes from zero to one. One means 100% active, zero means not active at all. If we move the arm IK influence to zero, you can see the arm pretends like the constraint was never there. Being able to switch these on and off help you when animating. Now in Blender, you can't change multiple constraints at the same time. So if I wanted to turn off all my constraints, I'd have to click and drag each one of them one at a time, unless we create a driver. Here's how you do that. In object mode, click on your rig. Under the object tab, under custom properties, click add. It will create a new property called prop. If you ever want to remove this property, click the minus next to the words edit. But what you want to do is click on edit, rename it to my property, and make sure that the min is set to zero and the max is set to one. And click OK. Now go to pose mode. Click on a bone with one of the constraints that you want to map this new property to, and in the influence bar area, right click, select add driver, the driver window will pop up, and I recommend clicking show in drivers editor. Now X out of the one they give you, click add input, in the DNA looking thing select single property, click on the empty space next to the right square, and select the name of your armature rig, go back into object mode, go down to your custom property, right click, select copy data path. Go back to the driver's window and under path, press control V. Rename your variable to whatever you want, but I'm going to call it influencer. Copy the name and at the top under expression, control V to paste the name in and select update dependency. Now, if we go back to the main rig custom property and change its value, you can see that the influence under the constraint we copied to the driver will be the same amount as our custom property. To copy this to other constraints, right click under the purple area under influence, select copy driver, then go to the other constraint you want to copy it to and under constraint influence, right click and select paste driver. And do this for all constraints that you want to share with this value. Now we can change all our constraints influence simultaneously by simply adjusting my property. You're done. I know this doesn't seem very useful right now, but if you see my next video on animation, you'll start to see why this is important. Anyway, hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.